Hi, I'm Brielle, and I'm currently an au pair in Sydney, Australia. I've been here for almost three months now, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my experience here. Um, I'm originally from California, but um, previously before coming here, I'd been living in New York City. I just finished um, a master's degree from Columbia University in intellectual disabilities and autism dual certification program. So basically that means in New York State, I'm certified to teach students with and without disabilities grades one through nine. Um, before this, I have been helping teach a class of gifted and talented first graders. So that means they're, you know, six and seven years old, but operating more on a third, fourth grade level. And before that, I was working in a high school classroom with um, students with autism, um, uh, ranging from moderate to severe. Um, I also have teaching aid experience in an old high school in San Diego, where I'm from, um, working with a wide range of different students with disabilities, ranging from Down syndrome to autism to intellectual disability. The reason why I chose to work with the family that I'm working with in Australia is I don't have any experience working with um, before school age children, so I thought it would just be a good thing to kind of add to my repertoire of experience for when I do go back to the States to be a full-time teacher. Um, I look after three kids, um, Ava, she's four, Bella is four, and Ruby is two, almost three in a couple weeks. And we do a lot of fine and gross motor skills. We do a lot of arts and crafts, just working on cutting and um, holding pencils, scissors, things like that. Um, I also take them to the park quite a bit, just to have fun and to work on um, motor skills, balancing, kicking balls, um, spatial orientation. I also like to weave in some academics, like letter and number identification projects. Um, I also am working on behavior charts, I will show you. They're kind of tattered, they've been kind of through the ringer, but just certain things that I'm trying to work on with the kids that they can work on some positive reinforcement. Here's like, I um, can't really see it's backwards, but it's a chart towards working towards. This symbol, since they can't read, means, you know, helping out. This is following directions, this is not yelling, this is helping to clean up food, this is eating all your food, um, putting your pajamas on by yourself. So just kind of working on a wide range of things. Sydney's a great city, it's really clean, everyone is so nice here, and there's a lot of different stuff to do outside of the city. I really like hiking and discovering, going in the bush and whatnot. Um, yeah, and all the neighborhoods are super fun to go out in, meeting different au pairs, mingling with locals, other au pairs that aren't affiliated with pro au pair. And um, yeah, in September, I'm looking forward to traveling to New Zealand on my own after I'm done working with my host family. And then I'll probably go back to the States and do some teaching. Or maybe I'll be an au pair again. I'm not quite sure yet. For more information about professional au pairs, please see our website at www.proaupair.org. And if you would like to email me with any questions or for further information, feel free to do so at brielle at proaupair.com. Thanks so much for listening to my story and hope to have you join our team here in Australia. Thanks and good day. Follow directions very